today we're gonna take a look at some interesting projects that were recently made using Blender. They range from VFX projects to animations and Netflix series in addition to graphic novels. Maya Netflix series Maya and the Three project takes you on an epic journey to save a fantastic world. This work is very well done and it was made by a lot of highly talented artists. It was all made within Blender and it is a proof of the beautiful artistry that can be weaved with this software by the hand of talented artists and technicians. The story is set in a very strange South and Central American myths. It is about three outcasts from three distant lands who will join Maya on her mighty quest to stop Lord Mictlin. I can say that it is a masterpiece with amazing quality and impeccable animation and lighting that shows the power of Blender. Heroes of Bronze the creator of this project said that he wants to educate viewers in a fun way about the amazing world of ancient Greece. So his purpose is to merge three goals in one project. The first thing is creating his own CG short film from the ancient Greek era. Second is helping viewers by documenting his workflow. And third, giving them the tools to help them create their CG projects. The CG short film is about showcasing the most famous moments of ancient Greek history. It took me 10 years to figure out a workflow that would allow me to make a digital animation like this," said Martin. This project is a combination of character creator, iClone, Rococo mocap suit, and Blender. The Dark Swarm graphic novel This project is an example that shows how Blender can be good with storyboarding or creating comic-style graphics. It is an abridged version of Dark Swarm as a graphic novel. It is made by illustrating the novel using Blender, Photoshop, and little animations for promoting the project. If you look at this and judge it as if it was an animation project, then you would easily consider it bad in many aspects, such as modeling, texturing, and animation. The man behind this work shared his workflow in Blender to create this graphic novel, saying that he rendered characters and backgrounds in 3D and 2D spaces, and added grease pencil elements, and rendered a freestyle pass. Then he took the raw rendered image into Photoshop for more editing. After that, he painted over the characters, used filters in graphical style, and repaired the parts of the mesh that were missed, in addition to other adjustments in Photoshop, and finally he added the text. Next is Choo Choo Macarons. This project is creative because it comes with a fresh idea of combining animation, filmmaking, and French cooking. It is a how-to video about 4 minutes and a half. It's one episode out of the series of episodes that feature different French pastry recipes. This project was made by Kyle, who is an animation director with about 30 years of experience. His wife, who helped him with this project, has never used Blender before, nor did he. It is actually impressive that this is their first attempt using Blender. Blender has been such an incredibly powerful tool, said Kyle. To make these episodes, he modeled, rigged, surfaced and animated the characters all in Blender. After that, he and his wife shot the live-action plates and she tracked the 3D camera, surfaced the characters and composited all the shots in Blender. Brain Music Video Your first impression when you see this probably being weirded out about how unusual this randomly generated 3D geometry is moving around. It is detail-rich and has distinctive shading and lighting that make it look out of this world. The creator of this project said that he used sculpting in Blender and rendered everything with Eevee. It might not look like it, but this project has a significant amount of creativity. I think the reason why the project's name is Brain is that it has too many detailed convolutions that look like the convolutions of the brain. Blown Apart Blown Apart is a series of shorts made using the grease pencil in Blender. Napoleon and the Sunflower Field Fiasco is one episode of Blown Apart where Napoleon double books himself with his date and the Grand Army, so he ends up trying to balance his relationship with his work life. The colors are very vivid and the work is so exquisite and the animation is smooth. The artist behind this amazing work used Blender's hybrid 2D and 3D workflow wisely. He drew using the grease pencil and also worked using 3D, which allowed him to realize a solid creative vision. We can see the 3D background and the 2D character's great consistency, which opens more doors for creativity. Sprite Fight This is actually Blender Studios' 13 open movie. It is an 80s-inspired horror comedy set in Britain. 
when a group of teenagers went inside an isolated forest and they discover unexpected things. Sprite Fight is a short movie with a very creative story, great animation and refined scenes. It is actually a captivating story in 10 minutes. The story holds a noble message of taking care of the environment in a brutal but a fun way. A project like this is a way to show the world that Blender is capable of doing fantastic work and it is an invitation to use this amazing software. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.